All right, chat, in today's video, the moves you gonna need is triple threat style normal five. You go down to your triple threat styles and you go to normal five. Why I use normal five is because look how low to the ground the ball is. Nobody's stealing it. You know when you're in a triple threat and you start doing jab steps, people gonna start spamming square. I don't know why people reach so much on this game. That's y'all business, it's not mine. But they kind of ruin the experience of the game by reaching so much. And the ball being this low to the floor, meaning you gonna smack me in the face more than anything. Look at this. Like, when they swipe, they obviously gonna swipe ball level. But naturally, if the ball is all the way down here, look, my head is at the location of the damn ball with this size, with this triple threat package. Literally, you're gonna get slapped in the face more than anything. So you're never gonna get stripped in a triple threat with this stance. That's number one. The ball is so low to the floor. Now, the next thing you're gonna need is moving hesitations moving hesitation should be pro too because of that right there that little simple step back you looking at it like that's that's a basic step back reese but look at it again bow that step back right there create a lot of space here's footage okay we're gonna show you it in game time spin off him he went the opposite side of the screen easy off the step back look at me i catch the ball he think i'm shooting spin off that step back behind the three-point line ladies and gentlemen you don't have to do crossovers you don't have to do size ups literally spin step back shoot that's the easiest combo in the game so i'm pretty sure sharpshooters can use this if you want to spin step back and it's easy right here i do a half spin out the triple threat but it's that same package combined with the step back you understand what i'm saying all you do is catch the ball spin off your defender step back then if they actually guard that you hit them with a behind the back i'll get more in depth with it now all right chat now that i showed you the animations and how it's used in game let me just show you how you practice it Okay, when you first turn your game on, press R1, go over to options, create a quick roster, go over to official 2K roster, and just pick whichever character you want to use. Me, I'm using Kyrie Irving because he looked like him, because I made my mob player look like him. But this example, pick Eric Bledsoe, go to his signature, go over to ball handling, change his hesitation, moving hesitation to Pro 2. Then after you get the animation of Pro 2, go down to the triple threat style, normal five, and you really that Gucci, ladies and gentlemen. Now once you got all that set up, you save this to the player, keep changes in return, save this roster. Then all you gotta do is go back to the main menu, go to the 2KU freestyle, click in the R3 button for the roster. Use a created roster and whatever you saved it as, load that up. Then you go over to the team really that simple chat come into the practice where you can actually get the ball without pivot look how low Kyrie got the ball to the floor right now literally look how low to the floor Kyrie standing now this is when you start having fun with it you push left on the right stick you step over you push right on the right stick you jab step towards Let's say your defender is on the right side, all over here. Let's say your defender on this side of the court, the whole right side of the court. So what you gonna do? You gonna spin left, step back, and pull up. Literally, it's that easy. Y'all be out here doing this, and that's not an effective move, bro. How you gonna literally just pick up ball and just run past people? Y'all gotta work on y'all triple threat moves. You gotta have a triple threat game. So if my defender straight in front of me, I'm going to spin towards the right, then step back, then behind the back towards the rim. Because they're going to think I'm trying to go baseline. So literally, once you spin baseline, you step back, then go behind the back, and you at the rim. That is my go-to move, chat. If y'all ever played against me in the park, you're going to realize all I'm doing is jab step, jab step, and I'm going to half spin and step back. Literally... You see how you thought I would have been going rim, but I jumped back to the three-point line. That little moving hesitation sends you so far back. This move right here sends you behind the three-point line every time. That's why play sharps abuse it. But the thing play sharps don't do is their triple threat moves. So if you got a play sharp or like me, a shot creator that shoot like a sharp, you could really be out here hitting your spins to your step back. Then if people play that, you just redo it with a behind the back. 
Literally, this behind the back save lives. Then you can counter it and step back again. Literally, that step back is your is your lifesaver to stay behind the three-point line. You only want to shoot threes, constantly hit a step back. If you get guarded, once you hit your step back to that, then you throw it behind the back on it. They trying to counter you. You hit a spin, step back, they playing that behind the back, cross them again, then you go back around. It's really that simple. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope y'all get out here and start practicing with this move like your boy do. I don't have to record myself doing this. I don't have to stream myself doing this. Just know that I always practice this. This is nothing new. I always love experimenting with the triple threat. You press down on the right stick, you do a pump fake. I like the pump fake jab step, spin, and then behind the back and get to the rim because your defender never ready for it. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope y'all add this move to your arsenal because I use it every day. No lie, you can check all my footage. You can watch me on Twitch. Nine times out of 10, I'm, I'm triple threatening somebody. I love Carmelo Anthony play style. Jab step, jab step, and shoot in your I love that play style. I love doing moves like that. That's why I added it to 2K, and 2K gave us a great mechanic in the triple threat system for us to exploit the defense. So get out here and add a triple threat to your arsenal. I guarantee you're going to start dominating from the three-point line if you haven't been already. Nobody ready for it. People can't guard me, and I'm trash at the game. So imagine you, somebody that's actually good. Now get out my face. It's been your boy Reese in peace. You feel me?